Good morning, everyone. This is Bremster, um, and today I'm coming to you with the fourth puzzle in this set of puzzles from the Sudoku U series. Now, some of you have come to know Sudoku U as Signet Sudoku because um, not that long ago, Signet Sudoku Volume 1 was released, which was the series of puzzles from Full Deck and Missing a Few Cards puzzles and paradoxes class and created mostly by the students from that class. So um, what has happened here is, um, yeah, they've, of course, puzzles have continued to be made. And um, this puzzle and the three I've released previously weren't in Signet Sudoku Volume 1, which I will provide a link to below. But it is, these will probably be in Signet Sudoku Volume 2. So these are ones that you are seeing here first which is great, um, and uh, I get to bring them to you. Now, this is what happened with previous Sudoku U puzzles. Um, they were brought here and then uh, uh, to the channel as Sudoku U, and then they came out as um, Signet Sudoku Volume 1, although there were a lot in Signet Sudoku Volume 1 that I did not feature on the channel. That book was stunning. So... Um, yeah, go check all of that out. I do want to call out that um, over on the community section on my channel at the moment, I'm still running the votes of 2020, best of 2023, so go and check out those. Um, let's have a look. That's if you're seeing this on day of release. That's running during February of 2023. Um, let's have a look at Four Leaf Clover by Slime. So normal Sudoku rules apply. So in every box, in every row... And in every column, the digits one to nine must be placed without repetition. We have modular lines. So these teal lines, the, the thinner teal lines, um, these are modular lines. And every set of three adjacent cell along a teal modular line contains digits with three different remainders when divided by three. Now, these were the rules that were provided. I'm not resetting the rules on this. But that means if you divide any of, uh, if you divide the digits one through nine by three, Listen, I, I wish they'd provide them. Um, then what you end up with is um, if you divide 147 by 3, the remainder you will have left over is 1. If you divide 258, the remainder you will left have uh, left over is 2. And if you have 369, the remainder you have left over will be 0. So the sets are 147, 258, and 369. Now, with entropic lines, you know that we work with low, 1, 2, 3 mid four five six and high seven eight nine and with those it is if you look at your keypad then you notice that they are running across one two three four five six seven eight nine if you look at your numeric keypad for modular lines it's the vertical bands one four seven two five eight three six nine and that's the way i remember it if you just look at your keypad um, or the keypad on sudoku pad then it's just the vertical bands one four seven two five eight three six nine and any set of three Cell, um, digits along must be um, must contain one of those. So it's the same as entropic lines, except using the vertical bands, except the horizontal ones. German whisper lines along ger green German whisper lines. Adjacent digits must have a difference of at least five. So these two digits will have a difference of at least five. Those two digits will have a difference of at least five. Those two digits will have a difference of at least five. And crop key pairs, digits separated by a black dot are in a one to two ratio, so uh, digits separated by a white dot are consecutive. Now, um, this is pairs, so not all dots are given. Um, and yeah, you don't have to state that not all dots are given because we don't state that not all modular lines are given or not all whisper lines are given. I've, I've recently come around on that one. I, I do agree. As long as you state that it's pairs, um, and if you if they were all given, you stated that they were all given, the same as if all modular lines were given, you stated that, interesting, um, then you would be fine. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. So along a German whisper line, I'm going to start here, even though I think this is going to be more powerful. Um, you can never put a five on a German whisper line because a five on a German whisper line um, has no partners because anything five different would be zero or less or 10 or higher. So every digit is going to exist either below five or above five, but any digit below five the difference of five means that anything like one to four you, is not diff five different from another one to four. So that doesn't work. And a digit, so its neighbors would have to be the other set, six to nine. And similarly, if you're six to nine, then 
the other digits from six to nine aren't five apart. They're too close. So you have to jump to one to four. So this digit, which we will call low, and this is going to end up with multicolor. Actually, I'm not going to do it this way. This digit is going to be low. So these digits are going to have to be high. They're going to have to be from six, seven, eight, nine. And then these digits are going to have to be low. Then these digits are going to have to be high. Now, these two, this digit, these digits cannot be six, because if this was six, then it would see the um, its only partner would be one, and both of those would have to be one. So that doesn't work. This is seven, eight, nine. It can't be seven. This is eight or nine. This can't be six for the same reason. Both of those would have to be one. So this is from two, three, four, and it can't be four because then the only partner four has would be nine, and both of those would have to be nine. So this is a two, three, um, and then this has to be this. Now, because this can't be one, this can't be six, and it can't be seven, this is eight, nine, and I get an eight, nine pair in the row. So that's kind of cool. This can't be four or one, so this is two or three. And this can't be six, because this can't be one, so this is seven, eight, nine. Now, do I want to go into this box? Possibly. So this is low. So one, two, three, four. This could be one, two, three, or four. I think this could be six, seven, eight, or nine. No, it can't be six because both of those would have to be one. This is seven, eight, nine. And this is one, two, three, four, because I could make both of those nine. I think that could be one, two, three, or four. So we get to this state. Now on this one, I am absolutely going to want a color because this is going to be yellow. Now, whichever ones these are going to turn out to be, I'm going to use red and I'm going to use purple. Okay, so we know this is going to be yellow, this is going to be red, which is going to be another modular state, and this is going to be purple, which is another modular state. Actually, I'm going to change that to blue. So this, this is going to be um, one of the modular states. So blue, this is a different modular state, this is a different modular state. But we know that this run of three must have all of the modular states, but it's only got red and purple, so this must be blue. And the same is going to be true as we go along. This must have all of the modular states, but it's only got blue and purple, so this must be red. And the reason is because as we move along the line, like train cars, um, every third train car must be the same, because you drop one off and the next one picks up as the train moves along, basically. Um, so these must, you know, I've dropped off a purple as I move along the line, so I have to pick up a purple. I then dropped off a blue, so this must be blue. I've then dropped off a red, so this must be red. And every third thing along the line must be the same. So this becomes purple and this becomes blue. Uh, this is purple, this is red, and this is blue. Now I know that blue is from 147 because that's the nature of this. The, remember the vertical banding. This can't be a one and it can't be a seven, so that's a four. Don't know about these, but this has to be sequential with one, four, seven. So if it's a one, it has to be two. If it's four, it could be three. You know, there's a lot of options there. Okay. What about this row? Well, hang on. I know that this is one, which is also blue, because one, four, seven. So three along has to be blue, which means that's the four. But I don't know which ones these are. Oh, but it means that this is a one, because I see the four, seven. These are not blue, which is fine. This is not blue. So this is red or purple. So blue is one of those two. There is a four or a seven up there. But this now can't be one or four. This is part of the problem while explaining. So this is sequential with four. So it is three or five. Okay, this dot maybe? It's either one, two, it can't be two, four. It can't be four, eight, or it's three, six. So that's a two, three pair in the box. So because if this is a three, this is a one, two. If this is a two, this is a three, six. So I can't put two or three on that anywhere in here. 
So there's no two or three anywhere in here. So these are from one. I can't use two, three. I must, there, hang on, there must be a four on this line up here which means there's no one or seven up here. So where's seven in this box? Because with four on this line, I can't put seven in this run of three digits. Because if I put seven here, then I can't repeat. If I put seven here, for example, four would be too close because any run of three digits must have three different entropies. No, sorry, modulars. I keep saying entropy, I mean modular. Must have three different modular states and four and seven are the same modular state. So with four being forced up to be here, I can't put seven here. I can't put seven down here. I can't put seven on a black dot. This is a seven, which means this is not the four. This is six or eight only, and it's not eight. This is six. So this is what I call yellow modular state. The way I do it is one, four, seven is my effective low because it's got one in it. Two, five, eight is my effective mid and three, six, nine is my high because it's got the nine in it. Basically, I'm working across my keypad, left, mid, right, or low, mid, high. Um, so this is my blue and green. Oh, so this is yellow. So I'm going to get rid of that color and make it yellow. Then three along is yellow. Three along is yellow. Three along is yellow. Now this is blue. I'm actually going to color. Now. So this is from three or nine. This is three, six, nine. This is three, six, nine. This is three, six, nine. So I can't use two, three here. So I could use one. I can't use two, three because two, three is taken up in the box. I must use four. I must use five. There's no six on here. This isn't three, six. This is one, two. This is absolutely four and five. but I don't know the order. And that makes sense because they have to be the low, four is low and mid, five is mid. So these are absolutely four and five, but this is one, two. So this is now three, which means this isn't three. I know this triple, which I think is going to matter because they're one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, these have to be different states, and 2 and 5 are the same. So this can't be the 6. This is 2 and 5, and 2 and 5 is what I call mid. So there's a mid here. One of these is mid. One of them is 2, 5, and the other one must contain a 6. One of these is green. One of those is yellow. So one of these is green. One of these is yellow. Oh, this can't be green. No, it can be green. It can absolutely be green because I'd have one, two, three. That wouldn't be a problem. I So these don't have, can I put, hmm. I can't put six up here. Because if I put six up here, I'd need one next to it and I don't have it available. So six is down here. So this doesn't have three. The, so this doesn't have three six on it. So this isn't three six. And it's not one two. So it's two four or four eight. If this was four eight, these would be seven and nine, which means that would be two. Four, eight. Hmm. So 
So with six down here, I can't put a three or a nine down here. So with six, it must have, must go with two, five, eight. So this is from two, five, eight, and six. So three is in one of those. It's probably a count of digits thing going on here. This wasn't one, by the way, since I got that. So one is in one of those. I'm trying to see if I can force any other digits. So this can't be three, six, because I can't put three, six on this modular line again. So this is from one, two, four, eight. Wow, this is, I am not sure where to look. They've really amped the difficulty on these puzzles just across the board. So these are from two five eight three six nine. And there's no two. So one of them is from five eight and one of them is from three six nine. Only one of them is from uh, five, uh, yeah. So, so all of the blue is taken up in this row because one of these is blue and both of those are blue. So I've got to put two blue up here. So one and seven are up here actually. And I can't put them two apart because of the alternating polarity. So this is a one or a seven. which means that is blue. I don't know that that helps me. I know that this is yellow. And remember, I'm coloring for modularity, not high-low. Wow. I think this purple and red is confusing me, but maybe I need to color up here as well. So that is that is that. So hang on, let's start at an end. That becomes that becomes that becomes that. So those are the same. I'm going to use the same purple and red, but bear in mind that they're not the same as these purple and red. This could be red and uh, red could be green here and red could be yellow up here. I don't know. I'm just using the same colors and this is an inordinate number of coloring. I'm not enjoying it at all. Um, the coloring, not the puzzle. I'm enjoying the puzzle. Sort of, I've got to figure out what's going on.
One and seven are up here. I could put two on this line though. So this could be one, two, seven. And there could be roping along here, I think. This would be three, eight, nine. Eight could go here next to seven. That would be fine. So is it here, which these... There must be a three on that on that line. There must be a nine. There's a three and a nine on that whisper line. And there's two also two from two five eight so there's two five eight three nine this feels weird so it's from two five eight three nine and there's well there's no five up here what am i talking about this is five six and this is two three eight nine because I can't put five on the whisper line. This was five, six. Whichever one of these is six is going to set whichever one of those is six. So two, three, eight, nine. Now, they're all far enough apart. They could go in any order. That's so weird. Why am I... Man, they've ramped up the difficulty on these puzzles so high. Signet Sudoku Volume 2 is going to be so much harder than Signet Sudoku Volume 1. So three in this box. Three can't be in any of those, and it's not in any of those. So three is in one of those two, which means this is not the three. But I can't do that about two. So this is two, eight, or nine. So three is in one of these. Three only goes next to eight or nine. So if three is here, this is an eight, nine pair, and that's a two. If three is here, this is an eight, nine pair, and that's a two. If three is here, that's eight, nine. That's eight, nine. Well, if this is three, this is eight. That's eight or nine. Because if this is three, this is nine, so that'd be eight. But I don't see why this couldn't be 817. If this is 7, this would be 6. Which it can't be. This can't be a... Th if this is 3, this would be 8. Because it couldn't be... This would be 9. So this would have to be the 8. This would have to be 1, 7. Because... This would be high, so to go one seven. Seven has to go next to six or eight. It can't be six, and the eight would have been there. This can't be a three. So three is in one of those two, which means that's not a three. That was a real long chain to eliminate, to put three into one of those two. 
but it means that either that's an 8-9 or that's an 8-9 pair. But if 3 is here, if doesn't that mean neither of those can be a 2? Because if that's a 3, that can't be a 2. And if that's a 3, that can't be a 2. So if, yeah, if 2 is in either of those, it forces 3 next to it. Neither of those can be a 2. So 2 is in one of those two. Does that do anything? Because two can go next to seven. Hang on, it gives me a six nine pair here, so that's not a nine. This is three or eight only. There is a 2, a 5, or an 8 in here. I can't, so there's a 5 or an 8 in here. Because it can't be a 2. So there's a 5 or an 8 in here. If it's an 8, that's a 5. If it's a 5, that's a 2. That all seems to work. And there's also a 3, a 6, or a 9. Actually, there's just a six on that. So this is five, six, eight. And there must be a six. Because of the sixes lining up by Sudoku. I had missed that. But I still don't know which modularity is which. If this is 2 or 8, that's the 6. If this is 9, that's the 6. If this is 2 or 8, if this is 8, that's 5. If this is 2, this is 5 or 8. So one of these is blue, one of these is blue. So these are green and yellow. Sorry, no, th yeah, these are green and yellow. So these are green and yellow. This is all known. One of these is blue and one of them is green. This is another one that just... I don't understand. I am not understanding these puzzles anymore. Okay, so 4, 4. So where's 4 in this column? 4 is in one of those two. So we know one of these is blue, but we always knew one of these is blue. So four is up here. So there's no one or seven up here. So there's no one or seven up here. So one and seven appear in here. One and seven appear in here. But it's still not enough because if one is, if this is one, two, this is five which means this is six, eight. I mean, do I just pick one and see which one breaks? Because if I put one on the dot, 
this becomes five, this becomes two, six, this becomes six, eight. And I could probably do a lot with how that would flow through. If this is seven, I don't know if it'd go with six or eight. I really don't. But I could put this is four with two, five or eight. So this is two, four, five, eight. That's so many options. So hang on, they are not yellow. That that could be yellow. That could be the six. And I don't need a yellow down there. Like that could be any of them, that could be any of them, that could be green or yellow. If that's three, that's nine, that's six. That can't be three. Holy cow, that's tricky to see. If this is three, this becomes nine, this becomes seven, eight, and three can't go next to seven, eight. That's a two. So there's no two here. This is four, eight, which means there's no eight here. This is seven, nine, which means this is the three. Seven, nine makes this six, which means this isn't the six. This is the six. That was a tricky spot. Now that two takes two off here. This is four, five, eight. There must be a two in here. Now, if I put a one in here, the two goes with it. If I put a two goes with it, this becomes a seven. Now, there's a two up here, which means this is the five, this is the eight. Now, six is yellow, eight is green. There's no eight here anymore. This is actually a two, nine pair. And we know these are one, not two, not three, not four, not five, not six, one, seven, and eight. So, because of the alternating polarity are wrong here, I need to put two high digits in here. So these are the high digits. Those are not the one. This is the one. This is seven, eight, both of which go with one, but this now has to be a low digit, so it's two. This has to be a high digit, so it's eight. This has to be a low digit, so it's three. This has to be a high digit, so it's nine, because the eight isn't possible. Now, two is green. Eight is green. Three is yellow, nine is yellow. The eight comes out of here. This becomes a four, five pair lining up with this four, five pair. These digits are now just one, two and seven. So this is a one, two pair. And this is the seven. That spot was what I was missing. Holy cow, this is a tricky puzzle. This can't be one, two anymore. So I can't put a one on this or this cell would be broken. So there's no one here anymore. So there must be a four on here, which means this is the five and purple. So if I pick, uh, let's just s select these manually. These purple now must be green. And these red must be blue. So this becomes the four. So this becomes the four and this becomes the five. This can only be from two, five, eight. It's not the four. So this is the four, which is blue. These are one and seven. And this seven makes this the one and this the seven. This is from two, five, eight. So it's two, five, because it sees an eight. Wow, the difficulty ramp up on these. Okay, uh, this is the nine, which we know is yellow. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is a three, which we know is yellow. Oh boy. 
Now, if this is eight, it would have to go next to seven or it'd have to go next to nine. If this is seven, it couldn't go next to eight, so it would go next to six and it can't go next to six. So seven can't go next to anything because I can't see six or eight. So this is a nine, this is an eight, this is a seven. Nine we know is yellow, eight we know is green and seven we know is blue. So these are from two, three, five, well, six is down here. So this is this can't be a two. So this is two, six. And this is three, five. But I don't know the order. It's weird I still don't know the order. Now this is a low digit. It's not one, so it's two, three, four. It's not four because it's next to eight. So it's two or three. This is a low digit. So it's one, two, three, four. It's not four because it sees a four. This is a high digit, so I'm just putting them all in, six, seven, eight, nine. It's not seven, and it's not six because they can't both be one. So this is an eight or a nine. If this is a nine, this is an eight. So this is seven, eight, nine, and it's not seven. This is an eight, nine pair, which means this is the two, which means this is the one and this is the two. One becomes blue, two becomes green. I'm keeping the color on this one. Maybe I shouldn't, but... I don't know, but I'm, I feel I'm still using the modularity. This six, of course, made this nine, which means this isn't nine. This is just three or six. Actually, I know this triple. One, two, three, four, five, six, three, six, and eight. And that's not a three. That's not a six. Interesting. So three is not here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine. So this is five and seven. Which I could have got by Sudoku. So these are green and blue. <sighs> this is so much melting my brain. So there's no one here anymore. There's no four here anymore. So this is two or three. There's no four here or two here anymore. This is one or three. There's no nine here anymore. Actually, what is this quadruple? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, I can't put seven on a black dot. So seven is in one of those two. <laughs> now, if this is eight, this would have to be four, and it can't be because of that four. So this is four or six. If this is six, this would have to be three, and it can't be. So this is absolutely a four, which we know is a blue digit. That means there's no four here. Now, four can only go next to two or eight, and it can't go next to a two. So this is an eight, which takes eight out of both of those. This is seven. This is six. This is eight. This is three. This is six. So we can make the three and the six as yellow. I know I normally don't color like this, but I feel I have to. The eight becomes green. The seven becomes blue. Seven can't go next to three. So this is what, which is blue. This is two, which is green. The one takes one out of here. This becomes a four, seven pair. The two actually... All of that is still possible. But the 8 makes that 9, which is yellow. And it makes this 8, which is green. So I'm trying to do it with numeric keypad. And it's always a bit weird. 1, 2, 3. Whoops. See? 3, 5, 9. And there's no 3 in either of those. So this is the 3. Maybe I should get rid of all the coloring at this point. So this is 5, 9. So 5 is in one of those two by Sudoku. Now that can't be a four. So f this is a four. Where does, f oh no, wait, the four here made this a seven. So this isn't the five, this is the five, this is the seven, and the six that is missing in the row goes there. Now I am gonna finish off the coloring because five is green. So I'm gonna select all of those and make them green. 
and six is yellow. So I'm going to select all of those and make them yellow. So this now has to be six because it's yellow. This is three, six or nine. So it's three or nine. This has to be six. This has to be five. This has to be two. And this is, well, it sees two and five. So that is eight. Now I think I'm done with the coloring. This eight makes this four and this eight. This nine makes this seven, which makes this four. This five makes this nine and this five. This three makes this nine. So this row is missing a one. This box is missing two and three, giving me a two, three pair. This five looks like making this seven and this five. So one, two, three, four, five. This is a six. This two made this one and this two. This nine looks up making this eight and this nine. The two looks up making this one. So these are two, three, and four, but there's no four there. So this is the four. The two looks up making this three and this two. The five looks down making this three and this five. And the three looks down making this two and this three. 36, 35. These have gotten harder. <laughs> these have gotten a lot harder. I hope that all pretty much all of the puzzles I've had so far, particularly um, the first one, Thermomania, and this one, Four Leaf Clover, get ramped into much harder sections. Thermomania had some serious tricks to it, and this one was also hard. Those two puzzles, absolutely tr challenging. And yeah, the other ones, based on the, the difficulties in the previous Signet pack, I would have said that... Um, the second and third one I did, what, uh, what were their names? Let's bring them up. Um, so Green Lantern and Don't Fall. Don't Fall, I, I would say, was sort of the high end of their medium difficulty. Uh, Green Lantern was the low end of their high. Uh, Four Leaf Clover was one of their really hard ones. And Thermomania was high end of their high. Um, possibly even higher than that. These have been really challenging. Oh, well, I'm bringing you harder puzzles. Some people like that. Thank you everyone for watching and as always, good luck with your solving.